so what I'm doing right now is I'm using the uh, side scanning to uh, go over a few spots. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I'm searching the side scanning for any good structure along the edge right here or uh, in the center. We're at 35 feet right now, so I'd like to stay a little bit shallower. Um, so maybe up in these trees would be a good area. You can see the creek channel running through here. I should just change to a uh, Strike King 5XD in the shad color. Same concept that I was doing last time, except a little bit deeper. No rattles in it, it's silent. So uh, I'm just going to try to bounce it off these deeper points. Right now we're at 31 feet, so I'm casting up a little bit, bringing it down. So you got that dual flute going? Yeah, donkey rig. Yeah, cheater. <laughs> a good feeling that they're going to be close to the surface, so I'm using this weightless uh, donkey fluke rig. And basically what it looks like it's two little bait fish swimming after each other. So it has, um, I think, a greater appeal because it increases the strike zone effective area of the bait. Instead of, you know, having one bait, now you got two bait within two feet of each other. So all I'm really looking for, it's kind of hard to pick up in this wind, is uh, I'm looking for bait fish about to crash on the surface or starting to ripple, but this winds make it almost impossible to kind of detect that. So I'm just going to have to look for the splashes and cast. This is where I play some defense. You ain't coming near my spot. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, baby! Got it. Oh, woo! That's number one! You know what? Who's in the lead? Got bigger fish in mind. Now for the Bear Halftime Report, brought to you by Bear Marine. Look no further for a mechanic you can trust. Alright, so uh, this half I thought I did alright. I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't get any more uh, with the amount of time I had back here. Um, it's like proving to be pretty hard to, to kind of figure out with all these trees and different depths and everything like that. So um, on the fourth, I plan to maybe fish around the same, probably a little bit shallow, uh, like we were over here. Uh, maybe try to get into some bigger fish, of course, but you know, we'll see how it plans out. Um, I think Ben's going to have a pretty good strategy on this one, so we'll see how, how his spot is going to 
gonna affect the fishing. So I fish off the back of the boat this quarter. I tried using a little bit of slower approach and have a variable depth with the dual flukes. That's why I'm mostly fish. Threw a crankbait a little bit through here, but I didn't feel confident that there's gonna be a whole lot of fish. Uh, but it was kind of difficult to find them just because the uh, variance of the water depth. I mean, the sheer cliffs or the sheer rock sides drop to about 30 feet relatively quickly. So uh, what I'm thinking at this point is that these fish are still sticking pretty close to structure, um, but we're not able to get into these trees as well as I would like to because of the algae that's growing on it. So my strategy for the next quarter is I'm going to look for main lake points with large boulders on them or broken up sections instead of riprap and hopefully they're chasing shed around those.